let us start with question number 2 question number 2 is simplify and express the result in power notation with positive exponent that means power should be positive like in this question power was negative we were focusing on making it positive by 2 power 5 so that was the answer now let us focus on the first part Minus four power five divided by minus four power eight. We have done these laws in class seventh also, which you have not written. Can you tell yes. me which law you are using? So the law of uh, so this uh, it is uh, a uh, a upon uh, not upon a, a power. Yeah, yeah. A to the power of m upon a to the power of n equals to uh, equals to a up to the power of m minus n. Very good. Okay, so bases are same. In case of bases are same, and in case of division, the powers get subtracted. So minus four uh, to the power of five. Minus eight. Your answer was correct, and this is rewriting five minus eight. So minus four power minus three. Now, uh, so you need to write this law. Okay, do the correction. Okay, side by side. Yes. Now the power is in negative. As the question was saying, the exponent should be positive, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So what we will use? Yeah, you have done that. We will use this law. You have to write that thing. So fraction and written like this. So you need to write it because denominator cannot be negative. We will write minus one power four whole to the power of three is the answer. Okay, just do the correction. Now second part one upon two power three and the whole power two. Now there is a issue with this. Okay. Why you have taken this three outside? Like for multiplication, can you explain? So so ah uh, this so I am getting this, but ah uh, this can be also written as ah uh, two upon three upon ah uh, two to the power of three. Upon one to the power of minus two. I'm not so, asking uh, how other way you can do. I'm I'm just asking yeah. to explain what you have done right now. No, sir, I'm explaining. So basically, if it was written that way, then okay. we would have to multiply. Uh, then we would have to multiply the exponent of the power of uh, two to three. So, mm -hmm. uh, but I am written that. So I'll. Okay, uh, I'm like I'm little bit confused in that. So I'll try to explain how. Sana would like to explain how you have done. Um, I open the bracket first. So one to the power of two is one. Okay, you and have done different way. You have entered inside. So one to the power of two upon two to the power of three into two. Is it making? Is this way? Yeah. Okay. So which law you are using? Um. A. Uh, brackets a to the power of m. And then n equals to um, a then brackets m. Right. So you have written this thing, this law. Yeah. Good. Okay. Now what next? Then I uh, simplify it so one upon two raised to the power of six. How do you get one? So one to the power of anything will be one. Very good. So one to the power of anything. Is one so basically one upon two power six. 
okay so now is this thing clear yeah okay now uh they are saying positive exponent as of now we are fine but this way is better in writing let me just tell you why how to go to that part aran i am talking to uh, your side also okay just listen okay yes so as you mentioned 1 to the power of anything is 1 can i say 1 to the power of 6 is also 1 oh uh, yes so can i write this thing as 1 to the power of 6 upon 2 to the power of 6 and this can be written as in the reverse way 1 upon to the power of 6 very good is this thing clear yes yes so your answer is perfectly fine i just wanted to understand there was a one step missing let me just rewrite it for you you should write 1 to the power of 3 2 to the power of 3 power 2 and then this step okay aran okay because you need to show that how you went outside so both yes. ways are fine okay there are two ways this is one way and this is second way both ways are fine whatever way you understood okay copy both the ways okay so 3 power minus 7 divided by 3 power minus 10 multiplied by 3 power minus 5 so bases are same a power n divided by a power m equals to a power what is this n okay n minus m yeah okay you have taken n first but normally we take m first that's that is not an issue so minus 7 minus minus 10 minus 7 minus minus 10 that would be uh minus plus 10 isn't it minus 7 plus 10 according to me this answer should be 3 why you are getting minus 17 can you explain i can again see what you are doing what you are doing 7 plus 10 is 17 and this minus is coming isn't it yes hmm see try to understand that this is a negative number okay if i talk in terms of number line i am standing on minus 7 Plus ten is moving this side. I need to move ten steps. That means it will be more than zero. Is it making sense? Yes. Now one more way. This is negative plus ten. So minus plus is actually minus. We do it. Okay, we do it. So, ten minus seven is three, and then we will look for the sign, like whether it is which number is bigger. Ten is bigger, so we will put a positive. Is this thing clear? Yeah. Okay. So I am just rewriting this thing here. Okay, not here. I will rewrite here so that it is clearly visible. so it becomes 3 power positive 3 multiply by 3 power negative 5 aran can you tell me what will be the next step 3 power so uh, since they have the same bases Very so good. then it will be a uh, 3 bracket mm or uh, 3 um yeah yeah Three power bracket and then uh three I think it was plus yeah plus mm -hmm. bracket minus five but then it will be subtracted 
very good so which law you are using you should write that thing a power m multiply by a power n equals to a power m plus n okay so here we'll have to write it as like a uh, minus 2 so uh it will be 1 upon 3 for the wait wait we'll come, we'll reach to that so answer is 3 power 3 minus 5 that is 3 power minus 2 since the question is saying it should be a positive exponent so the final answer would be 1 upon 3 power 2 and which law you are using a upon b power negative m equals to b upon k power positive m okay so i need do the correction whatever correction you need to do to be minus 5 to the power of 4 and okay okay so i'm glad that you have um, like observed that what is your mistake so let us do it from the beginning kindly write it properly okay yeah so the question is minus 3 power 4 multiply 5 upon 3 power 4 since the bases are same write the law a power m multiply by b power uh, sorry not bases are same power are same so b power m i was writing it correctly so a multiply by b Over m. m. So write this thing, okay? You get marks for these. Okay. So minus three multiplied by five upon three power four. Now three and three getting cancelled. You can cancel it over here. So you get minus five. So this is wrong. Power four. Okay. You can just leave the answer here because they okay. were saying it should be positive exponent. Okay. so they yes. they are not worried about negative base so this is okay. the answer then is is this thing clear yeah the so last part of the question number 2 2 power minus 3 multiply 7 power minus 3 again law is missing same uh, power a power m Multiply by b power m equals to a multiply b whole power m. Write down this law. So two multiply minus seven power minus three minus fourteen power minus three. Again, a good step that you have made the power positive. But I want to understand how and where this minus gone. Like where is it? Why it is positive? Can you tell me? So, oh, sorry, sir. I was muted. So it was a mistake. I meant to write minus. I've corrected. Yeah. So we have a law to make the power positive, but not for the like base positive. So it should be minus. Yes. And next step. We will write one upon fourteen as we cannot write negative in the denominator. So answer is minus one upon fourteen power three. Any doubt? No, sir. No. So remaining question are your homework.